Hi guys, if you saw the previous videos you'll know that I've been playing around with these cheap Poundland uh, friction driven cars making hobby grade radio controlled chassis for them with steering and when I first looked at them I assumed they were all going to be the same same uh, wheelbase because the chassis they come with are all the same so the chassis the um, flywheel motor or friction motor and all that it's the same one fits on all of them and they work you push them along and they work but when I put steering on them, we run into a problem. Because the steering needs a little bit more room at the front. So it doesn't actually foul the bodywork. Now this one works fine on this grey car, whichever one it happens to be. They don't name them on the boxes, they just call them Urban Blazers. But if I put this chassis on this blue car, then I found the wheels foul the um, bodywork. And they do the same on this black one. They only just touch, but they do touch. So I did another chassis where the wheel base, whatever you call it, front wheels are slightly further forwards on this one, two and a half millimeters to be exact, and that's absolutely perfect in there now. But then if I put this one in here, those wheels now foul the front. If I put them in the grey one. Oh, the grey one, they just clear. So that one would work in there. But it won't work in the black one. So I thought, well, what's going on here? Now the simple answer is steering doesn't matter because they don't have steering. So in that case, as long as they fit somewhere between the wheel arches, they're not going to rub. But I studied these and then realized the edges actually clip in place on this body shell it doesn't make any difference anyway but on the black one it actually pushes this back out so if we put it in properly that actually pushes the um, body shell out and that might clear the steering so long introduction again four minutes and we haven't done anything yet come on off you come so the one that I just knocked on the floor Is another evolution of my chassis which has got these little bits sticking out on the side the idea being that they should push the body out the way if we get them fully home 
yeah so I'm going to put steering on put the steering arms on here put the wheels on and see if that gives us clearance now I might take the easy option I might unscrew these and put them on there rather than go and get another servo and rig another one up can't remember which one's which Right, that's the longer one, so I want to try the shorter one, which is what I think I've matched there. Yeah, so I'll take the bits out of this one rather than that one, because that one works with there, and as we've just seen, it will work with that one. So I'll take steering off this one, put it on here. see if we get the clearance just for now we won't worry about the servo we'll just put it in place And having done this, or while I was redesigning it, I was thinking I could actually widen all of this to come out to there, and that'll give me space to put the battery straight in. Because if you've seen the videos, I'm actually mounting the battery that way round. It doesn't quite fit in there, a smaller battery would, but the one that I'm using doesn't quite fit. So if I bring the tray right the way out to there, then the battery can sit right down in instead of sitting on top. So there'll be another version of this. But we'll just see if this will work. in here right that's it that makes the difference Okay, I still think this one seems to sit up quite high. I'm not quite sure why it sits up so high. But it does. Still, I'll um, take the motor off there, servo off there, put them on there, and we'll give this a try and see if we've got the black one running the spacer or stretcher in place. That's it, it's just pushing it apart and that's holding the bodywork clear of the wheels, steering. Right, swapped all the bits across, so it's all sitting in there. So say that just sort of sits across that way. So it would be better if I extended the tray so we could drop it down lower. Anyway, that's in. Uh, what's going on there? That seems to have slipped along a little bit. Okay. Just make that. There is a little slot in there for the aerial to go through because these are clearly designed this multi-purpose uh, body shells that they could have a radio control 
system in there. So it goes through there. Something's loose. Top that up outside. Yep. So steering. Oh, that is just still just catching there. That's annoying. I thought we were clear. Probably a little bit of flex in there. Yes, yeah, very, very close. I could extend the sides of the tray up a bit higher just to make sure that keeps that well out of the way. Okay, we'll give it a quick, quick run on the floor. So, backwards. Right turn. Left turn. Oh, oh I missed it. I thought I'd left it too late. Remember, these are the hard plastic wheels, so there's no grip. That's why I'm taking it fairly gently. But yeah, that seems to work. What I will do that would be version four of the chassis. So we can tuck the battery down out of the way. That'll do for this video. That works. Just to check, that is exactly the same chassis just put into the grey body shell. And it works okay in there as well. don't think it will work in the blue one. Well, I'm wrong. It's fitting in the blue one as well. Oh, well, if we can get this right, then we only need one chassis for all the different models. I say all of them, I've only tried three of them. There are three others to buy if they're still available. But looking at that, I don't know if you can see, it just doesn't... It's Those front wheels are a little bit far back. Or they look a little bit far back to me.
good turning circle as well. You might be able to hear the ESC ringing, as they call it. I'll try and edit it out of the video when I do the editing. But that's just a standard problem with a brushed ESC. You get that high pitched ringing. quite pleased with this little project. It's gone on much longer than intended but I've learned quite a bit. Thanks for watching. If you want more information check down below in the video description. If you like this video you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.